hi and welcome in this video i will discuss how we configure a virtual private network or vpn between two security gateways for example between two firewalls so this is the first uh, security gateway that is firewall a and this is the second security gateway that is firewall b now firewall a has an external interface towards uh, firewall b and similarly uh, firewall b has an external interface which is configured towards firewall a and uh, the network in between these uh, two firewall uh, has number of network devices but these all network devices are managed uh, by your service provider therefore you need not to be worry about uh, the routing which is performed between these uh, two uh, external interfaces because this routing is performed by your internet service provider so there is a local area network uh, a behind firewall a and another local area network b which is behind firewall b so we want these two networks to communicate uh, with each other so what we will do is that we will define uh, we will route uh, the traffic from local area network a towards the external interface uh, of uh, firewall a then this traffic will be uh, routed by your internet service provider or your network services provider uh, or maybe your media service provider towards the external interface of firewall b and upon reaching the firewall b uh, the traffic will be routed towards local area network b but there is an issue with this arrangement uh, that is the network which is in between these two external interfaces uh, is managed by your internet service provider or uh, therefore this uh, network is untrusted network for example it can be an internet so uh, what we can do is we, uh, we can encrypt the traffic while it is flowing uh, over this untrusted network so for that uh, we uh, have to use the virtual private network or uh, VPN. So virtual private network uh, will virtually uh, enable your network to be private on this untrusted network. So actually it will encrypt uh, your uh, network data uh, between these two local area network while this data is flowing on this untrusted network. So what we will do is we will uh, configure a tunnel interface on each of these uh, firewalls and this tunnel interface is an interface type which is available in the configuration of your firewall or your security device. So this tunnel interface would be a layer 3 interface that is it will operate at network layer of OSI model uh, so that uh, it can route the IP packets so what we will do is that instead of routing the traffic towards uh, the external interface directly we will first route the traffic towards the uh, local tunnel interface of firewall A so then this traffic uh, will uh, be become uh, the VPN or will become part of VPN so this traffic will be encrypted by this tunnel interface and this encryption or tunneling is a virtual private network so it will be encrypted and it will be then routed towards your external interface and then it will be routed uh, in encrypted form towards the external interface of firewall b so uh, while flowing on this untrusted network which is managed by your service provider uh, this all data of local area network a will be encrypted so the your internet service provider or your network service or media service provider uh, uh, 
uh, would not be able to see uh, this local area network data. So upon reaching the uh, remote external interface that is the local interface of firewall B, this traffic will be routed towards uh, the tunnel interface and it will be still in encrypted form. Then upon reaching the this tunnel interface, it will be decrypted by firewall B and then it will be routed in decrypted form towards uh, the local area network B. So th these are the configurations of uh, the interfaces uh, for this VPN. Uh, now there are certain parameters we need to configure to establish this VPN. So these parameters works in two phases. So in uh, phase one we will establish the parameters for internet key exchange or IIC exchange or you can say uh, this uh, IIC or internet key exchanges as internet key exchanges security associations. So in phase one we will configure the parameters uh, for security associations of IIC. And in phase two, we will configure the parameters to establish security associations for IPsec. So we will configure these uh, two phases of parameters uh, on both firewalls. So uh, I will first discuss the firewall A. So these settings of or these configurations of uh, firewall A will be replicated on firewall B. So in phase one, uh, we will uh, configure the proposal set and this proposal set of internet key exchange or this internet key exchange is also uh, called internet security association and key management protocol or ISACAMP uh, security associations. So uh, in this proposal set we will configure the lifetime of this proposal then the authentication method and this authentication method can be pre-shared key or it can be a digital certificate. And we will also configure uh, the uh, authentication algorithm that can be security, uh, secure hashing algorithm or it can be message digest 5 or MD5. And we will also configure the encryption algorithm, for example, advanced encryption algorithm uh, that is AES or data encryption algorithm or DES. And we will also configure the DeFi Hellman uh, group for uh, key exchanges. And uh, these keys are the session keys. So uh, the, uh, these DeFi Hellman uh, groups range from 1 to 24. And we also configure the pre shared keys, pre shared keys used as an authentication method. And this pre-shared key should be same on both firewalls. And then we will configure the interface for IIC. Uh, and this interface would be the external interface, external local interface, that is the uh, interface of firewall A, if this set these settings are done on firewall A. And then we will configure the gateway of this IIC uh, and uh, we will co actually configure the IP of this gateway and this IP would be the IP of remote external interface that is the interface on firewall B. And on firewall B we will configure uh, this interface as the local interface of firewall A. And in phase 2 uh, we will uh, configure the parameters for IPsec security associations and this will uh, similarly include a proposal set which in will include the lifetime of this proposal set and or this security association and then the protocol and this protocol can be ESP or it can be ESP and AH. So normally uh, once we are configuring the VPN between two gateways then this uh, VPN works in tunnel mode. So, so we will also configure the authentication uh, algorithm that is for example HMAC and the encryption algorithm similarly the advanced encryption standard uh, or uh, AES and we will also configure the tunnel interface which will be used for this IPsec VPN. 
so here I would like to highlight that we can configure multiple VPNs uh, on a single firewall. For example, there would be a firewall C which would be connected to firewall A just like firewall B. So uh, the tunnel interface of uh, which uh, uh, of for firewall uh, B would be a separate interface. Uh, sorry, for for firewall C would be a separate interface. So if multiple uh, we can configure multiple tunnel interfaces which would be used for multiple VPNs uh, with multiple devices. So for example, we will uh, configure the tunnel interface number over here as one and for second VPN we will configure the interface as uh, this tunnel interface as uh, two. So uh, <coughs> uh, similarly these settings would be performed on firewall B. So this was uh, all from my side. And if we, uh, you would like to uh, listen the theoretical part of uh, this IPsec, then you can watch another video on, which is available on my channel. So this was all from my side. Please stay connected to my channel. Thank you.